Hi everyone. It is the last of our demos for this evening. And what I'm going to end on is Sweet Tooth. And first and foremost, again, thank you for everyone who has been a part of my Epicure journey, has supported me and my business throughout the years, and has even supported myself, or has supported me through this evening. I, I can't say thank you enough. It just means the world that you would take a Friday night and just come on and be excited to hear what's new. Um, I see that Marjorie just popped on and I just love that you don't even live in my city and you can join me as I share what's new. So I think that's pretty cool. Um, one of the bon bonuses of COVID is this forced me to do this. So welcome again. This is the fourth demo for the evening. Sweet Tooth is what we're gonna end on. And one of the ones I had alluded to in the very first one was the dolce de leche pudding. So everybody who knows me knows that the chocolate pudding is kind of my go-to dessert. I use it on my Vitamix. I just, it's, all of our puddings have always just been add two cups of milk, your choice. So we tend to use almond milk, but we've used almond milk. We've used oat milk. We've used regular milk. Um, I haven't used soy milk, but we just don't usually buy that. Um, and it's just two cups and you throw it in your Vitamix blender. If you don't have that, like when we're traveling, if they don't have a blender like they have here, you can use just a hand whisk and you just whisk and it eventually becomes pudding and it's glorious. So this is the new flavor. It's sort of a burnt caramel, I think it's a South American flavor. So again, it's sort of on the international kind of scheme of what they're trying to do with the new catalog. So if you like pudding, you might want to try this one. And I'm, yeah, we quite liked it. Um, so now we have two options for puddings. We have chocolate and we have this one. So not making that one because as you see, we ate it already. <laughs> so before I get on to my last demo, just want to remind you of the couple specials. If you're just like, I don't know where to start. I don't know what to get. Um, Taste the season. That just enables you to get one of everything for the last, um, like eight of them for 10% off. And if you want something, a variety on a monthly basis, I forgot to mention this earlier, but the Epic box, I'm not too sure whether some of my subscribers are on there or not, but every month Epicure delivers to your door, a box of a variety. You get no choices, which pushes you out of your comfort zone. You got to try different things. You get eight dinners, you get one dessert and you get a dip mix. $35 all in comes to your house. I think it's great. I suggest the 12 month subscription. There is absolutely no penalty. If you have to cancel for any reason earlier, it doesn't fit you well, finances change, or you find you picked out your favorites and all you want to do is get your favorites. You can cancel at any time, but $35, you can gift it. I know people have been sharing their gift box or their Epic box. So all you do is you go on to your account, change the address and the next month it'll go to your sister. Or if you have a kid in university, they can get a gift like that. So if you just don't know what to get, I think those are two of our cool products that you might wanna, wanna try. So talked about the Dolce, <coughs> de leche, delicious, caramelly, goodness pudding. Kind of nice with like the red velvet cookies. We do sweet good, so. The next one that we're going to do though is the golden latte. So if you've been with me for a while, this used to be in a tea bag format and it sold like hotcakes. Like I know it went out of stock a number of times. And now what they've done is they've actually bundled it a bit differently. And instead of using a tea bag where you just dip it in sort of hot milk and things like that, this has like, like coconut cream powder in it. So you just add water and milk and you can serve it hot. You can serve it cold. You can ha have it however you want. Um, I am choosing to do it cold because if you know me, I don't like hot drinks. So oh, let's go. And the flavor. So the thing that's kind of cool about this one, it's caffeine free and it's turmeric is in it. So as you can tell by the color. So if you can just see it, that's where its name comes from, golden milk. I don't know if you've ever had the golden latte, either Epicure's before or another golden latte at a coffee shop or something like that, but it's like a superfood. So turmeric helps with inflammation in your body. So 
I'm excited to try this one. It, it's got a bit of a sweet undertone, which is why it's under my sweet tooth um, topic, I guess, for tonight. But it's got kind of, uh, I don't know what that flavor, I guess probably the turmeric. So I'll, I'll let you know what I think. I've never tried drinking this. Well, I guess the mango lassi, but that's kind of a different flavor profile than this one too. This one's sort of vanilla, cardamom, turmeric, caffeine-free goodness. So what we're gonna do, I've actually pre-boiled some water because you wanna add it to hot water so it mixes well. So I am going to just take my half cup is what it says. Mm. Gotta challenge my eyes here on the video. Okay. Amy, Amy says turmeric's good for aging women. Oh! Ah, I'm aging. I want to age well too, so Amy, that's good. I, I'm okay with that. So basically it's a half a cup of water, half a cup of milk, and a tablespoon of the, the latte. So the latte mix. $14.95 is what this costs, and you can get 12 servings out of it. So it's about a dollar and a bit per latte, which is much cheaper than if you go to the store. Again, in line with Epicure's hopes for people is that they'll... So I'm gonna put that in there. I think I should have washed my whisk. I only have the one whisk with me here, but it mixes in pretty good. Oh, hmm. it smells quite nice actually. I shouldn't say actually. Epicure does good things. <laughs> so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna add a half a cup of milk, and this is when it would be still quite warm. You could warm your milk. Um, Epicure did come, so you remember that at the last open house, I frothed um, milk to go on my hot chocolate and or on my pumpkin spice latte at the open house. They actually brought this back so you don't have to buy it in a collection or anything like that. They call it an air wand. And the beauty of it is it has not only the frother, but it has a little whisk in there as well. So super nice, rechargeable. So for hot, you might want to have heated the milk and then frothed it and then poured it in for the latte. But what I'm going to do for this one is I am going to just add the, well, I guess I can just do it. Ha ha ha. Add the cup up here. So we're gonna add it to a cup. And one of the tips, and this will be in line with what you suggested last time, Darlene, is one of the tips that they give you for making these lattes is to make up a whole bunch and freeze them in ice cube trays or in our little muffin things. And then you've got your portioned out turmeric and it's already cold. You can just heat it up, make a hot drink, or in my case, I could just throw it in my smoothie cold. So, so there it is, hot and mixed in there. I think actually it'll be, I kind of want to sip it right in front of you, but I'm sure I'll end up <laughs> having it run all down me. I think this would be really great in like smoothies. I think you could throw it even in like an oatmeal or something like that it might be nice because it's kind of a coconutty warm flavor. You could probably even, if you remember in the summer we had turmeric as a seasoning, I'm hoping it might come back, but the turmeric, you could probably use this even in your rice, which would be an awesome idea. So I'm going to let this cool and I won't blend on screen with you, but I've just got ice in my blender and I am going to throw this when it kind of chills just a little bit in with ice and make it like a slushy because anybody who knows me knows I always travel with reusable straws <laughs> so I can have cold drinks wherever I am. But that is our golden latte. So I don't know if that's something that appeals to people or not, but I think it's kind of interesting and we will sample it next week, probably hot or lukish warm on Saturday next week because that's probably easier than trying to keep slushy and well, who knows, we'll see what happens. But I'm gonna call Gord back up. Hopefully people have said hi. I've seen people pop on here and names go by. Again, just from the very bottom of my heart, I just say a big, huge thank you for joining me on this and supporting me and encouraging me by, by being here. So the draw will actually be, 
as these are a lot easier to mail. A Dolce de Leche pudding mix. Yum, yum, yum. Who wants to win? Here comes Gord. Hi, everybody. This is our last draw for the evening. Just a reminder, if you won earlier this evening, uh, unfortunately, you can't win again. But uh, good luck to the rest of you. And let's see who's goes, going to win. And it is Amy. Amy. Congratulations, Amy. You are going to receive a pudding mix. And you can let me know whether you want me to pop it in the mail or whether you are planning to come to the open house. Would love to see you and love to give it to you. So reminder, the open house is not tomorrow. Um, it is in a week's time. So Saturday, January 14th from 10 till 12.30. I hope you'll join me. I will have lots and lots of samples for everyone to try. And there will all be, as normal, cash and carry. And I have ordered in a lot of these new products. Fingers crossed they will come in in time this time. And you guys can pick up what you like after you've tried sampling it. Thanks again. Have a wonderful weekend. Bye.